Hello everyone, this is Kaz from Conscious Explorers and today I'd like to talk about what's going on with life. So, you know, here we are in this physical plane and seemingly many things are happening that we don't want to, we feel like consciously, we don't want to happen. But I do believe that, <clears throat> you know, on a higher level, we are getting what we want and what we've asked for. Um, and ultimately, where we're going is a, is a liberation, like we want to be free. So at the moment, we are all ruled by our desires and our aversions, the things that we want and the things that we don't want. These things pretty much drive our whole life. And that's fine. You know, so we're, we're here, I think, for, to, to experience. When I say we, I mean greater consciousness is here to, to experience. And it's done that by filtering itself off into this, this realm of separation and time. And in this time and separation realm, narratives can happen and stories can happen and all kinds of things can be experienced. And if you get really good at this, you know, and you get focus and control, you, your conscious self can kind of override, you know, maybe what your higher self asked for. Noisy birds, clearly. <laughs> Beautiful birds. So, you know, you might think, I want a boat, and, um, and you manifest yourself uh, by focusing your will very intently, you get yourself a boat. But it might be that your higher self, you know, that wants to be free, didn't want to need the boat, and so the boat burns down, and at first you feel really upset and annoyed. That's not a nice experience, but ultimately you're, um, you're freed from that from that, from that uh, desire and that need. And so this is what we're learning in life, like constantly we are being asked, it's quite funny, you know, in, for example, I want to lose weight, so I have an aversion to being overweight. <laughs> and, um, and because of that, I will have to curb a lot of my desires for like delicious, what I consider is delicious food. And at the moment, a part of me thinks, I need that delicious food for my happiness. But, but because of my aversion to being fat, I'm going to learn that I do not need that delicious food <laughs> to be happy. And this is what the pandemic has done. Um, it's quite, quite funny because the pandemic has, has curbed a lot of the things that we love and a lot of the things that we needed, we thought we needed for our happiness. You know, hugs and travelling and shops being open and all this kind of thing. And I, I know some people have suffered horrifically and I, I definitely, you know, do want, not want to take anything away from that. But some people, and myself included, have learned that some of those things that we thought we needed, we don't. Like I was always traveling and I thought I needed traveling to be happy and if I didn't have travel, I'd be super unhappy. But, you know, I haven't been able to travel and I'm not super unhappy. So I've been freed, I've been liberated. And ultimately everything in life is teaching us this liberation and death you know, the ultimate aversion will catch us all in the end. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, that, that, that's another thing to, to be free and liberated of. But everything in this reality is a little bit backwards. So, you know, it seems that this one is the most compelling one, the physical one, it's the most kind of real one. But actually, it's, it's the least real one, if you want to look at it in those terms. It's not, it's not unreal in terms of your experience. That is as real as could be. But in terms of <clears throat> how it appears, we appear very limited here. Um, and, you know, greater consciousness has filtered itself into this, this time and separation. But in the, uh, in the astral, for example, if you, if you can astral project, you will find that you can traverse time and space very very quickly I wouldn't say quite instantly because you have to think of it um, also you can change shape and in some ways the lucid dream is even more closer to source because you can just manifest wherever you want whatever you want um, but it, that's not it either that's, that space is still stuck in narrative it's still time and space and we're still we have a sense of separation there too nothing wrong with that but that is how it is and then it seems that there is even a higher plane, the mental plane, where there isn't shape, there isn't form. And, um, and on the mental planes, you know, you're more of an awareness, but you can still have thought. So there is, you know, still some level of that going on. And then beyond that is, is the stillness that can be found in the, you know, 
there's the sparkling blackness that happens in between dreams when the dream collapses a space of pure potential you know from where the dreams can form and it's so easy to dismiss this as just some silly state you know but it's I think that's it you know that is pure potential that's the nothingness where everything is <laughs> and from there creation can happen so we can return to source quite easily it's not 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 difficult what like one once you meditate and you have a loss of ego because you've become just aware of uh, you're, you're just an awareness you are back connected with that source and you know in that <clears throat> in that space of pure potential where you can can if you want start start to create again you know you're 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 back <laughs> back home um but my partner said to me today my lovely laura said you know she doesn't want to be enlightened because she doesn't want to give up the things that she you know desires she doesn't want to be less human she said you know she wouldn't want to not worry if someone was dying or something like that and i said well you know for one you would see their true nature as part of you so you wouldn't see that they were dying you would be connected to them and um and you just see that this is part of uh the their journey or that little bit of consciousness's journey um in line with what their higher self wants so you wouldn't look at the, their suffering and worry about it and two you would also you know i don't necessarily know if you would ever let go of your emotional states you may be sad if someone you love um dies because you might feel like you've missed them even if you know that like it's just part of the the dream <laughs> that, that you're missing them because really we, you're all one um but you wouldn't be you wouldn't be attached to the feeling you wouldn't worry about it because yeah you'd know what's what's really what and so at the moment, you know, like I said, we're all driven by, most of us are driven by our desires and aversions according to our, to our higher self. And you can manipulate that a little bit. So if you really want something, you can put your focus on it to, to manifest it. Like say you wanted a boat, you could put all your focus on that and you can manifest more consciously rather than just leaving it to higher self. Um within the rules you know there are there are rules and until you fully understand i guess that this whole thing is you know what's really going on you you're kind of stuck with those rules um but the ultimate freedom is is not being ruled by those things the ultimate freedom is not to be ruled by aversion or desire and, and when you're in that state you can surrender to to what is best for everyone and you can put that as your intention overrides the whole lot just guide me to what what is best um and i had an experience recently which made me realize that it's uh you know <laughs> which made me realize that it's to do with how you feel partially um a little while back ago i had this what some people call a kundalini awakening and i really hate that term <laughs> it just is filled with dogma and mystery and you know i realized that actually this kundalini thing was something that i'd experienced many times in sleep paralysis sleep paralysis is this state between um it's when you're asleep but you kind of a part of your brain has woken up and so you notice that your body is in a light paralysis which your body is when you're sleeping to stop you moving around and walking and acting out your dreams and it can feel really really terrifying but if you know what's what with it and you just kind of enjoy it it becomes the most wonderful bliss it's like this wonderful electricity rising up and down your body it's superb and a little while back ago i had that feeling I was wide awake and I had 27 hours of this. It, it ramped up, it wasn't, didn't start like that, but it was just such euphoria. And I thought when I felt that, if I felt like this, I don't need a thing. You know, I would be, I could, I was experiencing emotions during that time. Some things were making me sad, some things were annoying me, some things were making me happy, but it was tiny compared to how amazing I felt inside. I felt so like, incredible i thought if i had this feeling all day long you know I, I, if i would need nothing else i thought this is this is what these enlightened folk must be talking about 
So, you know, that feeling and the sense of oneness that one can experience uh, and, and connection, you just don't need anything else, basically. But there's no rush to get there. And, you know, I don't think that we're here to learn. I think we're here to experience and to enjoy. And we're here to enjoy the ride. You know, there's no, there's no, there's no rush. You can just sit back and enjoy the, enjoy the opera, as my dear friend Solly says. Um, and when you're ready, you can go, you can go and, and let go of all these things that are, you know, ruling your life and just, just surrender to source. And any time you want to connect with it, you can just meditate or learn some learn some skills, which are really available to everyone. It's wonderful. You know, we've got teachers like um, Jade Shaw and, and Charlie Morley teaching people how to uh, lucid dream and astral project. It's available to anyone. These things aren't like mysteries that are, you know, <laughs> for advanced yogis. Um, and and learn and learn to see what it's like when you collapse the dream and what that space of kind of nothingness is and, and just, you know, know it's there. So it's, it's there for you anytime you want. Um, and then, yeah, come back and be a human and enjoy that too. Hope that's <laughs> helpful in some way. Um, yeah, please do join in the discussion. Helps helps me articulate these things better as well. And uh, thank you so much for listening. Much love.